Hey guys, welcome to day 101. That's right, 101. Thank you guys for showing up. Of course, as usual, thank you for all the kind comments. You guys are amazing. I can't wait. Now, I'm not going to probably talk real long tonight. I've had a little bit of like almost like sore throat. I, I think it may have been from the other night. I might have potentially snored a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm taking supplements and stuff right now. I, I'm also adding some vitamin A and um, I took some elderberry. I don't have any vitamin C on me. Um, I have some regular vitamin C, but I'm not really worried about it. Um, and usually if I take vitamin C, I'm going to take liposomal vitamin C um, because regular vitamin C, you don't really absorb it. You know, with the liposomal, you can absorb that. Anyways. But I, I took, you know, I took some stuff. Um, but anyways, I'm keeping an eye on it so I don't feel sick. So we'll see. I mean, this, if I if I do get sick, it would be my first time being sick on carnivore. So we'll see how my body handles everything and all that good stuff. Uh, let's see what else. Um, so I also want to include I want one thing I wanted to start doing from now on, and and just to. To, to help even more encouragement for all of you out there, because I get a lot of messages from you guys now saying that you're glad I'm doing these videos and that it's encouraging you. So I'm honored. I'm honored to be part of your encouragement and, and motivation. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm very humbled about that. And so what I would like to do to sort of also return the favor to help people out is I want to start including some type of inspirational quote, you know, some type of saying something, things that, of course, I've got a whole list of them. And um, but but some of them I personally know about some of them I'm not sure, but I figured like, hey, today I'm going to give you today's inspirational quote. OK, and it is life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. Okay. So I want you to think about that. And if you are, you know, I'll just give you a second, but if you are the kind of person that maybe you're just kind of like, I'm not sure what that means. Let me just kind of point something out. It's not about finding yourself. In other words, you're not out there just seeking and trying to figure who you are. You know, a lot of people say that. They're like, oh, you know, I'm trying to find myself. I'm trying to figure out who I am. <clears throat> but look at the second part of that. Life is about creating yourself. In other words, you are in control of your actions. Now, this reminds me of another little, you know, phrase, which I, I don't have on me. But... There was another phrase that talked about basically like how much of your life is out of your hands. See, I always ask people, in, when it comes to your life, if you had to give a percentage about things out of your control, right? It's like, hey, out of all the things going on in your life, how, how much of things are out of your control? What percentage? It's like 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, what? What percentage would you give? And, and all that. And a lot of people will say like 50, 60, 70%. I've heard even as high as like 90% of their life is out of their control. But did you know, as an adult, they did a study. They did a study about all this and things like that. And, you know, in an average person's life, there is only about 10% of things that occur that are out of your control. Let me repeat that. 10% are things out of your control. So when you're driving down the road and there's a red light that happens, you can't control that. Okay? <clears throat> but the other 90% you can control, believe it or not. A lot of people, and, the, and that illustrates the point that you dictate your future, going back to the saying, right? 
You create your future. You create it. You don't have to go find it. You make it. You make it happen. And it's like with this carnivore, carnivore diet, right? Let's tie it in to the channel, right? You don't have to sit there and think like, what is this diet going to do for me? And like, you know, all this stuff. But use the diet and create a new you. It's a new lifestyle. Create a new you. You are in charge of it. Okay. But I I actually like that saying, you know, um, I it was the first time I had seen it because I had always talked about finding myself. You know, you got to find yourself. People are like, oh, you got to go find yourself. No. Create yourself. You make it happen. That 90% in your life now that you heard and you understand that today when you listen to my voice and you're like, 90% of my life is under my control. A lot of people are like, oh, my relationship sucks or whatever. All these things, right? My job sucks or all these crappy things. In your life, if you really think about it, you are in control of all that. You could change your job. You can change your relationship or make it better, whatever. Or, you know, there's all these things that you can do. A lot of us just don't do it. And we just accept it and we just sort of say, well, you know, I mean, I got all this stuff happening to me. Oh, boo-hoo. Then change it. Make it better. 90% of your life can be better right now if you started taking action. Positive action. Anyways. But yeah, guys, uh, I just thought, you know, maybe we'll cover a quote each day and and maybe that'll help us, you know, to along our journey. And um, as far as today goes, I had um, two hard-boiled eggs and a meat stick. And I had a one-pound burger, right? I had my one-pounder again. Remember I told you guys, like, man, it was really good. And it it, it was. It was another great burger. I made it out on the flat top, you know, grill on the back porch. Just such a great burger. Love it. And I've got my coffee now. Waiting on it to cool down a little bit. I got three iodine drops in here. And and by the way, a reminder, for those of you that um, asked me about the iodine, um, in my description below, whenever I list, you know, the my coffee, like in the description, um, I put the, the name of my iodine drops in there. I'm not going to provide a link because I don't have an Amazon affiliate, and most people, that's what they do. They provide a link so they can get a little money on the side. I mean, I'm not worried about it. I just gave you guys the... The, the name and percentage of it, the Lugols. And if you want to like copy paste it in Amazon or something, you'll see. And, and that's, that's the one I got. And, um, you know, some people say I'm, you know, still under iodine, but keep, keep remember that I'm, I'm taking a decent dose. Um, when you really, when you listen to the the part where uh, Doctor Barry and Doctor Brownstein was talking about um, the, the Lugol's drops, and you know Doctor Barry was talking about a couple drops, and then you know um, the doc was saying you could even probably double that. So I'm starting out at three. And another thing too is that another person I think that I saw in my comments, I believe they said something like they were they were taking. Um, I don't remember six or seven a day or six to eight a day, but they were starting to get like this itchy throat or something. I, I don't remember exactly, but they did say they did cut it down a little bit, but I just figured I'll work my way and we'll just see right now I'm doing three drops. I'm just kind of breaking myself into something new. I don't want to take two extreme of actions, you know? Um, what else? Um, yeah, if you guys haven't noticed for a while now, I've, I've had like a real candle back here instead of my. My artificial one. I think my artificial one's working now. I think I I just had to like charge the batteries, but um, <laughs> but I went and got me um uh like a cheap one from Walmart. It was a uh, um, hazelnut. It was hazelnut. I don't know. It just smelled good. It smelled good to me. Um, it didn't. 
it's weird how some people will say like hazelnut or this and that, you know, and then sometimes, you know, like some of these candles to me, they don't always smell like the real thing. Like, you know, there's some good candles out there. You smell them. You're like, whoa, that smells just like a peanut butter brownie or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> like they have some pretty crazy flavors and some of them are smells scents, and some of them smell like spot on, but then some of them like, that doesn't smell like that, but I mean, some of them smell like this one here. To me, it doesn't really represent hazelnut to me, but it smells good. I liked it. So I'm like, huh. I looked at it. I was like, hazelnut. Huh. I'm surprised, but I like it. So I bought it. It was cheap. And um, so anyways, I got that in the background. But uh, But guys, I hope you have a good day. If you're doing the carnivore lifestyle, hang in there. Right? Keep it up. Stay strong. Okay? For those of you that are thinking about doing the carnivore diet, come on, man. Water's warm. Come on in. Trust me. It's never too late. And I'm telling you, once you do it, I mean, I'm in day 101, and I got a long ways to go, but I, I'm looking forward to it, actually. For once in my dieting life, I look forward to, and I'm enjoying my meat. I'm enjoying these things. It's It's amazing. Anyways, all right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.